So hey guys, welcome back. I'm Katie and I have a thrift shop haul to share with you. Um, I saved the receipt this time and the grand total came to $8.95. So I know there's like a thing or two in here that aren't on this receipt, but it's a thrift haul so everything is inexpensive. Starting off with the most normal-ish thing in this haul, I got this boy t-shirt. And it's really boxy, very soft cotton, and I think it was a long sleeve and somebody cut it. And it's doing that nice rolly type thing that cotton does when it's cut and washed. Very boyish, very comfortable. The older I get, the more that I hunger, as decency dies and falls away. And this one is verging sort of on a fall piece. It's this linen pair of vintage shorts. And it was missing the two buttons, but it was under a dollar, so I've got buttons in my sewing kit. I can easily fix it. But it's a nice high-waisted pair of lady shorts, and it's got that 1940s sort of feel about it to me. This next piece, I was really excited when I saw it on the rack. It's by H&M, and I don't know if it's a skirt or a strapless top. I'm thinking it's a skirt, but for me it's gonna have to work as a top. But the reason I was so excited was this print, this these swallows on it. It reminded me of Mew Mew. A couple of years ago they had this this print um, on their their collection and I really love that print. And recently their resort collection they came out with they re they brought back the print so I was excited to see that because I love it so much. And so this came home with me, reminding me of Mew Mew's Swallow Print. An exciting piece I picked up, the tag says $4, but it was half off. It's a white shirt without any stains or discoloration. And whenever I see something white, I'm very skeptical. So I will stand there for a while examining it, underarms, everywhere looking for a stain and this passed the test so I picked it up it's a nice oversized vintage shirt and I love the um, lattice overlay on it anytime I see white I'm instantly pairing it in my mind with a vintage pair of jeans or denim something on the bottom so yeah this will go great with something jean or denim yeah, if you've been looking at my instagram it's been a uniform thing to wear a lot of vintage denim lately or culottes so yes i got this really nice collar shirt keeping in with the white i got this as well and these sleeveless turtlenecks they look very flattering on <clears throat> small chested gals like myself just a nice basic top white past the test Okay, this was an experimental buy. I really liked it on the hanger, but I'm not so sure as I tried it on at home. It was really cheap. It was, I think, under a dollar as well, so I picked it up. But it's got a very cool tribalish print and then nice big slits on either side. It's kind of like a maxi, well, it is a maxi dress. Uh, shift cut, very straight, but I'm not sure. I might say something optimistic like, I'm going to repurpose it into something great. In reality, I might just try to make it work. It probably won't work. I might just re-donate it or it might stay in the back of my closet. We'll see what happens to that. Let's get through another experimental buy, which is probably a what the hell is that reaction that I'm going to get. It's this top right here. Even I'm like, why the hell did I buy this? Okay, and then I wandered into the no man's land section of the thrift store. The part where people avoid, maybe? the I'm talking about the underwear lingerie section. So I went there. Yes, I went there. And I saw this. <laughs> it's a matching pajama set. It's this satiny looking beautiful rose and black print dress slip dress or pajama dress and then I was drawn to it for the robe that came with it. It's a really nice boxy shape. 
I think it'll look nice as a wrap dress. Maybe only got one side. It's only got one pocket on the side. So maybe that's why it ended up at the thrift store. The frustration of reaching for the phantom pocket. Okay, and a nice basic piece which has this great fall color. Sleeveless ribbed top. And it's a nice plum color. Great basic piece. Just um, throw on and wear. I really love the color. That's what I was drawn to, so I got that. And another thing I saw that I was sucked into for the pattern is this beautiful maxi skirt. It's got this gorgeous tropical print. It was too pretty to pass up, and it was under a dollar also, so I picked that up. Let's add something kind of normal to the mix. I picked up a denim shirt. Everybody needs one of these. Just a long sleeve denim shirt. Perfect for wearing. So moving on to the last three things, my favorite things. It's something everybody needs in their closet. A pair of lemon pants. So these are so cute and weird and I really like them. They're kind of like a cropped ankle cut and they're black linen and high-waisted and I just love the embroidered lemons all over. I don't know, I thought it was really, really cute. I was excited to get those. Who gave away their lemon pants? Something I've been looking for everywhere is a white pair of culottes, but I'll settle for this. It's this really nice white midi skirt. Actually, it's more like closer to a maxi cut length and I love the asymmetrical hemline. It almost looks like somebody took a very fine fabric tablecloth and made it into a skirt. Okay, and I want to say the most expensive piece in this haul was this bag, but it was three dollars so not too shabby at all it's really cute it is genuine leather it's made by Lewis genuine leather I'm not sure about that brand but the inside is completely clean really nice and it's almost like the suede rawish um, leather feel I love the contrasting strap yeah, it can kind of work as a crossbody. It's so cute though. Thick and very cute, so I was excited to get that. Okay guys, so that's everything for my haul. If you caught the thrift bug, but all the thrift shops are closed, I have an online vintage thrift shop and I'll leave the link for that below. And I hope to see you guys over on Instagram and blah 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 blah. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!